Let me tell you a story about a very special monkey. His name was Micah and he really was quite funny. He lived in Carrick Fergus and he really loved to play hide and seek. In fact, he would play it every day. So as a special treat to start our Playful Museum's tale, Micah has hidden in lots of places in a very special trail. Can you help me find him? Can you spot him in the town? He may be peeking out or even hanging upside down. Where's Micah? First we'll start with the friary from a very long time ago. Micah needs to get inside, but how would he do that? Does anybody know? There he is, right at the front door. Look, these people are having a party and some are playing a game. I wonder, will Micah join in? There he is. Now Micah is playing in the gardens, in amongst the trees. Can you find this very sneaky monkey? I can see him behind the hedge. The cook is making something tasty. I wonder what it could be. Will Micah share the food with us or do you think he is too greedy? He's peeking out from behind the jug. Wow, look at that ship. The sails are touching the sky. Is Micah hiding down below deck or is he sailing very high? He's right at the top. Great job, but where is Micah now? That was so fun, but now Micah wants some friends to play with. I wonder where they could be. <gasps> hmm. Let's explore the museum and see who we can see. Is there anyone hiding in a cannon? This is a funny shaped object. Is there anyone inside? It would be a very strange place to hide. <gasps> we find our first friend. Mr. Snake. S cannons were used by soldiers at the castle to help protect the town from attackers. They fire cannonballs. They come in lots of different sizes and can be used to sink ships or break through the stone walls of a castle or a town. Is there anyone hiding in a surcoat? Are there any of Micah's friends hiding in there? It's a bit too big for Micah to wear. And look who's here, it's Giggles. This surcoat is a copy of one worn by Sir Arthur Chichester, a very important gentleman who lived in Carrickfergus 400 years ago. It could get very chilly in Carrickfergus, and this coat would have kept him warm and kept his clothes dry.
Is there anyone hiding in? A tar window? Can you see anyone peeking out this window? Or are they too hard to find from down below? <gasps> Say hello to Miss Parrot. A tower house is a bit like a mini castle and are normally made from stone so they can't be burnt down by attackers. This window came from a tower house that once stood right here in Carrick Fergus. Only those who were very rich could afford to have such a building. Guess what? If you worked in the tower house, you wouldn't get your own bed. You would have to sleep on the floor. Is there anyone hiding in this heavy armor? This looks very strong and really quite heavy to wear. I wonder who could be brave enough to be hiding in there. Whoa, it's Mr. Monster. If you were a brave knight or a soldier, you would have to fight in battles and defend the castle. To protect themselves from their enemy swords, the soldiers had to wear armor, like the one I'm wearing. There was also a helmet to protect their head. Micah, would you like to try the helmet on? Is there anyone hiding behind this brick wall? A wall made from bricks, a clever place to hide. Should we knock it over and see who is on the other side? Say hello to the princess and the dragon. Carrick Fergus has some of the oldest town walls in Northern Ireland. They were built to protect the people of Carrick Fergus. And starting at the castle, they reached the whole way round the town. It was like they were giving it a big hug. At six meters high and over two meters thick, these huge walls took over seven years to build. Now we'll find all of our friends. What shall we do? Sing five little monkeys together with our friends. And don't forget to come back to Cart Fergus Museum and visit us again. Are you ready to sing? Princess, Dragon, Mr. Monster, Miss Parrot, Giggles, Mr. Snake. And you? Micah the monkey?
Great singing, boys and girls! What an amazing place a museum is. A great fun place to be. Thanks for finding all of our friends. Now it's time to say goodbye, Micah the monkey. Mwah!